Hey guys, welcome back to another Sir James D DJ video. Today I'm going to be flashing the firmware on a Vertex Turbo. And this is firmware 1.0 that I originally had, and I'm flashing it up to 1.5. Now, the way I'm doing it is pretty much only on this 1.0. If you've got 1.5, Four already all you've got to do is burn an ISO image onto a CD using alcohol 120 or something like that and then boot to that CD okay put the CD-ROM as a first boot device and pretty much flash it from there it's following instructions now what you're gonna need a spare hard drive I mean this is obviously big but um, a spare hard drive because you want to put Vista or a different version of Windows 7 or whatever but temporarily you're going to want to put Vista what you also need is the drive itself okay and that's special I mean I've got hot swap base so it comes with this but if you've got an icy dock 3.5 to 2.5 converter that'll work too a jumper okay now this came with my classified motherboard um, as you can see up here by the PCI jumpers that's where I got them off of I've also got the ECP so I really didn't need some of those on there and you're also going to need a pair of tweezers okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the jumper on there and then I'm going to hook up this other hard drive and then we're going to boot to it and I'm going to put this into the first swap bay make sure it's hooked up into the SATA port 0 and make sure this is hooked in before you boot okay and then it's going to say yapadong barefoot or some freaking thing so alright we'll get rocking once I get this thing Okay. okay guys see all I'm doing here taking the jumper and I do have a tripod but I don't want to bother with it and make sure it's this end you see it okay just get it in there it's kind of a pain no I'm pushing it too far okay there's your jumper connected. Now that's going to make it so that it's read only. Okay. So at this point, it's not a solid state drive. Um, I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it's really not. There we go. Go ahead and get it in there. That's all there is to it. So it's in there, and now I'm going to hook up my hard drive, and then we'll... I've already got Vista installed on it, but you would install Vista or whatever onto here. And so, alright, I'll boot to Vista. Okay, here we're at the BIOS screen. As you can see, I got it hooked up in kind of a dingo way, but it's just temporary. Also, what I wanted to mention, if you got multiple solid state drives, take them out just pull them out you don't want anything messing up just leave that one in here okay so here we're at BIOS and you're gonna want to make sure boot to hard disk and hard disk priority okay it's in four so make sure that's the top one and Now, if you've got multiple drives, like I say, what you're going to want to do is, as soon as this one's done, okay, it'll say, oh, I'll show you, it'll say shut down and remove the drive. So you want to shut it down and then take this out, take that jumper out, put it on to the next one, and then put the next one up here. Make sure you 
I don't know, use some method where you know one, two, three, or, or whatever. I mean, that's just what I do. It might be overkill. But. Now I've got the 30 gigabyte Vertex Turbo. So, and I've already got it saved to my desktop in Vista. Um, it's going so slow because it's not great. Um, and all I did was from the OCZ forums, and I'll put the link in more info, just put it to a USB drive. Okay, 30 gigabyte. And there we go. Answer number of target drive. It's the top one there. Drive zero. So you put zero. And it'll give you this warning like you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yes. And cursor will go through this crazy shit right here. First, I didn't know what I was doing. But. Yeah, it'll flip and fly around. It only takes a couple seconds. Um, and there you go. SSD firmware has been successfully updated. Now here's where it says reboot. Shut it down. Okay, don't reboot it. Shut it down, and then if you've got multiple drives, take it out, move the jumper, put it on the next one, then put that drive up here. Um, or however you want to do it. Unplug the cable if you don't have this case. Unplug the cables and then hook them into here so you don't have to mess around with your SATA ports over there. And then you're up to 1.5. That's all there is to it for, for 1.0 to 1.5. Now this is a destructive flash so you don't have to go through sanitary erase or clean. Um, I suppose you can if you want to just be thorough but afterwards you're up to 1.5 baby so now remember this is a destructive flash so all right well thanks for watching the video and uh and i hope it all works out for you like i said i thought i had a bricked drive and this basically saved it so even if later on something gets screwed up just go through this process again all right well Make sure you check out the next video, and if you're not a sus subscriber, feel free to do so. So, alright, talk later.